All right, next, we got Toy Story 3 from June 18th, 2010. Yes, opening night, right? Yeah, yep. yep. June 18th, opening night in 3D. Whew, what a night. Because uh, we made it for the 7 o'clock show up in Harrisburg. Awesome stuff. Yeah, we went to Regal Cinemas in Harrisburg, and man, that theater is magic. I haven't been there since then. <laughs> well, no, I haven't been there since I last saw Tran no, yeah, Transformers was the last one I saw up there. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, Toy Story 3. Mm -mm -mm. Good shit. Uh, easy 11 out of 10. Um, oh, I forgot to rank the other ones I did previously. Oh, well. Whatever. So, Toy Story 3 opening night. Man, that shit was packed we got top row middle seat and dude that that shit pulled at you left and fucking right and then the ending comes oh that fucking hurt uh and then fast forward to stan lee's death and some wise ass who decided to add all the creations he did in comics on top of all the toys that were given away that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Ah, oh, but damn. Yeah, when that o when that movie was over, I ran outside. I bawled out the car. I was bawling. I mean, I was fucking bawling. It was so sad. It didn't hurt so much. And if you think, oh, then Toy Story 4 came along and ruined my childhood. No, I'm not like that. I liked 4. 4 made me cry even more. Because that hurt even worse. Oh, God. Mm -mm -mm. And they're making Toy Story 5. And 6. All the way up to 10. Can you believe it? There's so much for 10. Kidding. No, they're not making a 5. No, I couldn't even think of how they'd make a 5. <sighs> well... A fifth film could follow on the origins of everybody that weren't included in the original films. That'd be fun. But, uh, Mrs. Potato Head's dead voice talent. And someone else died too. I think it was Mr. Potato Head as well. Yeah. That sucks. <sighs> Bummer. So, but yeah, me and her, that was fun. Mm -mm -mm. That was such a good fucking night. God. But yeah, I didn't stop crying until like the next day. It was, it hit so hard. Oh, fuck. <sighs> but it's a good fucking movie. It's so fucking good. Like you can't get enough of that shit. But if you don't like Disney for whatever reason, because, I don't know, you think they're terrorists. <laughs> People have the weirdest fucking mindsets and the weirdest theories when it comes to Disney. They think they're plotting to take over the world. They think they're aliens in disguise. <laughs> they think they're secret Nazis. They think they're, I don't know. They have an agenda going on. They're going to take over or whatever. They're going to dig up. Mummies, I don't know. <sighs> they're torturing children, they're pedophiles. <laughs> it's like, nah. Whatever. But if you don't believe in any of these crazy fucking theories that you've seen online, well, this is a good movie for you to watch. Yeah, you're gonna be bawling. Oh, cry. I'm a man up. Yeah, I'm man up. I don't cry. Man, don't cry. Don't you get back in there. Don't you get out of my eye. Get back up there. You know there's dudes out there that are like that. It's fucking sad. I think you put him in front of a fucking puppy. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, God, you're so cute. Ugh. Like, whatever. <laughs> uh, but if you don't like Toy Story, 
I can't imagine why somebody wouldn't like Toy Story, though. I really can't imagine. Some people, they don't like it. They hate Toy Story, love Small Soldiers. I like both films. Um, yeah, I don't know. You might not like this. Just saying. So, onwards in the next.